Very good afternoon guys, welcome back to another Craft Sippers review and today you might notice we're inside for a change, it's absolutely hossing it down outside so got my new content creator kit for the old GoPro, giving it a whirl, got the light on, the mic, the media mod, you know, you know, you know and the Volta hand stick, flipping wicked, it's like a handheld thing with remote controls on it for the GoPro and it turns into a tripod, I mean that is... Anyway, Back to this, what have we got today? Something a bit different for me. Um, it's a super stout Sunday. Today is Sunday, so it's a super special sipper Sunday. This little bad boy, I probably would never have bought it. <clears throat> being a stout, being strong, being barrel aged, etc. Very strong, coming at 11.7. .7. However, good old Dave, mum's boyfriend, I took him to have I Got Bruised For You, um, probably about a month ago, and he picked one up and he goes, Holy smoke, man, you gotta try this. It's so lully. And I was like, actually, that is really lully. <laughs> it's really, really good. So, what have we got? Sinister Brew from Scotland. The Sinister Sinister Minister. Wicked. Love their little logo and love the stuff they do. I actually looked on the website for this and um, you can't buy directly from them. You have to get it from a, an approved stockist. And that so happens to be Andy from Have I Got Bruce For You. Big up, Andy. You know the stuff. And you even told us about this before. And we were like, mm, I don't know, I don't know. But you know what? I'm glad I got it. So, El Diablo Ahumado. So, it's a Mexican kind of name because it has got Mexican applewood smoked pasilla chilies within it. I mean, how cool is that? A smoked stout. <sighs> Back to the sinister brew. Look at One cool thing about these, they're very small batched. Check out this. Here we go. See this here? 204 is the, is the run. So it's a very small run. And this is number 11. Number 11 of 204. So I love that. Very small, very exclusive, very hard to get. And he's got about maybe five, four or five of these left on the shelf. Worth getting. Because um, like I say, it is something else. Something really special. Without further ado, let's crack her open, have a little look. So, very exciting. I don't know if you can notice as well, it's got like a bit of a waxy on the top. Um, obviously they, they wax seal them afterwards. Obviously it's sealed with the bottle cap, but obviously wax, give it that extra bit of attention to detail. We like that. So let's have a little looky in the bottle. 375 mils. And uh, there you go. Okay, that smells good. <laughs> £9.95 was it? Yeah, £9.95 from Have I Got Brews For You, which does seem expensive, but when you consider how, what a small run it is, you know what, I want to drink loads of these at 11.7, do you know what I mean? Big up, blow your brains out. <laughs> so yeah, let's get her poured into the glass. Poured out, enough wax, let's get her in glass. So, it's going to be nice and thick, I imagine. Let's have a look. Oh, look at that. Nectar. Like a little treacle. Black as marmite, beautiful. That is lovely, isn't it? Oh, listen to that. That's a bit of a throff on top. Lovely little, uh, not much of a head on it. It was a little bit of a head. Little ambery, honeycomby. Oh. You can smell it's barrel aged. Getting those vibes off there. Smell it's a nice, rich and indulgent, very chocolatey. Um, yeah, let's give it a whirl. Can I smell the chilies? Maybe. Maybe a hint of chili, but let's get it down, Ash. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's the best. It's so good, right? So, first things, mouthfeel. It's nice and prominent, the mouthfeel. You get a really nice mouthfeel. It's quite quite full-bodied. Not as strong as the uh, Amundsen ones we've tried in the past, but lovely. Oh, God, I can't remember. Let me try again. Mmm. You get that lovely chocolatey stout flavour. And then, that's when the chilies come in. 
at the, at the end and it is a lingering warmth you get in your throat. Really lovely, applewood smoked, getting smoky flavors in there as well. And the chili warmth at the end is just oh, sublime because normally I find when they're strong barrel aged stouts, you get um, a resonating twang of the old, um, like a Guinnessy twang, like an irony twang. You don't get that with that because the chilies just take over and just wash it out. I'll tell you what, it's so good, honestly. I can't actually believe how good it is. I love these guys. They're my new favorites, Sinister Brew. It's oh, stunning. The smells, the taste, it, everything is just done spot on. And you can really tell that they, they really go to the lengths um, and attention to detail. El Diablo Acumado translates to the smoked devil. Love that. The devil. Yeah, we like that. Smoky devil. <laughs> Love a bit of smoke too. Gotta to love it. Mm. That is such a good beer. I can't actually believe it. So Andy, you were right. It was an absolute smoking drink this is. Absolute 10 out of 10. I must admit when I first saw it, I probably looked at the picture and thought, nah, I'm a judger. Don't judge a bottle by its cover. Having said that, it works because that is what it is, the smoke devil. Don't miss it, this Mexican style, love it. <laughs> anyway, that's enough was. This is a really, really special beer. And if you want some, I suggest you go to Have I Got Brews For You because I don't know where else you'd get these from. Again, they don't just sell off their website, so you have to get them off someone. So yeah, anyway, that's enough Wasolini. What are we coming in with the big verdict? The verdict on this little beauty, absolute stunner. 4.5 Sinister Brew, thank you very much. That is a stunner, absolute stunner. Best stout I've ever had, bar none. Absolutely bar none. The chili, it's amazing. How did you think to put that in there? Like, it works so well. It hides the barrel age strength of it. You get out of the start. Oh, it's a flavors, just unbelievable. So yeah, that is a top notch. Bring back to the old Wubba, would I buy it again? Well, yes, I did buy it again. <laughs> Double funnel Wubba and I'd buy more too. After trying to sip a day's one, I was like, oh my God, that is so good. So yeah, Double funnel Wubba. If you can get one of these, please try it. You won't regret it. Even at 10, 20 quid, worth it. Special, exclusive, bash. And it's like two, three drinks in one at 11.7. You know, you know. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, check us out on the Instagram, uh, craft underscore sippers. And on YouTube, at craft underscore sippers. Give us a like, comment, subscribe for the good vibes and peace out guys. We'll catch you on the next one. Laters. Mm.